Hi, welcome to this week's One Minute Wednesday. And this week I want to share with you uh, two top tips for securing your company against cybersecurity breaches um, that will cost you very little, if anything at all. Um, and just thought this would be particularly relevant being uh, this October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Um, so the two areas that we see um, people come to us uh, after a breach that could have been easily prevented are number one, the levers procedure, i.e. they haven't told their IT company that a particular employee has left. Therefore, their account uh, and their credentials are still live and active on systems uh, and they can be used in one of two ways. It could be a disgruntled employee could actually log in to a system and delete data or manipulate data or whatever they might want to do. Uh, and secondly, a uh, cyber criminal can utilize um, a, a weak password on these accounts to gain access to other parts of the system uh, and encrypt data or deploy ransomware, that kind of thing. So having a, uh, a really robust levers procedure that involves your HR department, that then involves your IT uh, department or outsourcing team um, is key because unless that password has changed or that account is disabled, you are putting yourself at uh, unnecessary risk. Number two is a good old favorite, passwords. Too many people use really rubbish passwords. Um, and there's two ways to Kind of combat this you can either start using some decent passwords which is pretty good but usually remembering a, a good password either requires a password manager or um, a really good memory um, or you could implement uh, multi-factor or two-factor authentication um, i've covered this in, in previous videos but two-factor authentication is basically where you have to enter your username your password and then you'll have to provide a code, which is either sent by text message or an app on the mobile phone. Um, and by doing this, you are really raising the bar of your cybersecurity because pretty much the hackers will just move on to another target because there is always gonna be someone below you that has a rubbish password or no two-factor authentication uh, enabled that they can just uh, find it easier pickings elsewhere. So two things, get your levers procedures sorted out and make sure you are using decent passwords. By decent, I mean um, kind of 13 characters plus where possible, um, or using two-factor authentication. Um, hopefully that's a couple of useful things. I'll see you next week on another One Minute Wednesday.